right side, breaks a tackle, hits two guys head on, carries the ball down to the 27 yard line. And it'll be a first down. That should be I enough think. for a first down. They're be close. Spotting it inside the 27, shy of the 26. Boy, they started to sweep there with everybody out there to block. First down. And then he just carried into a couple of the Texas defenders and took him down to the 27 yard line. Big break for the Aggies. Let's see if they can cash in as the clock is under nine now, and it's a 17-13 game. Ten unanswered points to start the third quarter by Texas. Carter and Thomas again, the running backs. Motion from the Aggies, Brian Mitchell starting to the left. And again, it'll go on the ground to Rodney, dancing around back there, now trying to get some speed. Heads for the corner across the 25, down to about the 22. That's going to be close for a five-yard pickup. Slot to the left on a second and five. It's a heavy eye. Rodney blocking is there, and he's going to carry down to the 11-yard line. Great block on the corner. Sweep to the right. Kevin Wattler again on the tackle. About the only guy they couldn't block on the play. He made the tackle at the 11. Eye formation. Pulling, maybe changing the play. Tied into the left. Timeout. And they are at the line of scrimmage with a single setback, Rodney Thomas. And it goes to Rodney, and he hits into the line of scrimmage. Bounces off a couple of guys. He's across the 10, down to about the 7 or 8-yard line. Second down and 7, can get a first down without a touchdown. They need the 1-yard line. Rodney again, the single setback. And uh, there was a flag. And now uh, they got one of the Texas players who got a little hot under the collar. Like he was, I don't know if he was just trying to get away from Greg Shorp or he was taking swings at Greg Shorp. Lance Gunn lost his cool there in the heat of the battle, and it's a legal procedure against the Aggies. Carter and Thomas in the backfield in an eye. James McKeon's the tight end on the right, slot to the left. Pulling, long count. Goes to Thomas, looking for the left side. Can he get around the corner? Won't do it. He's going to be knocked down at the 10-yard line and run out of bounds there. And they did not get out of bounds. Clock will continue to roll. That was second and 12. Split backs, Carter and Thomas. Pulling from the pocket. End zone throw. Out of the hands of the intended receiver, Brian Mitchell. He has one tonight of 42 yards. This one will be spotted down at the 18-yard line. It's a 28-yard effort, and it's back to the right. Angle right, spotted down, kick is up, and it is good. And at 5.53, the Aggies will go up by 7 at 20-13. to 5.53 to go in the third period. It's been a wild one here. Split back formation starting at the 20. Ball equidistance between the hash marks on the ground. Getting outside. Knocked down at the 22-23 yard line. Single setback Texas on second down and seven. It's a draw out of the backfield again at the 25-yard line and game tackle by AM. They have two wide outs wide to the right side. There's some pressure on Gardier. He's looking to throw. Now he's caught from behind and wrestled to the turf at the 25-yard line. Billy Ray Mickens. Sacks. Billy Ray Mickens came on a on a corner blitz and he stayed with it. Came up from behind Peter Gardier, almost stripped the ball loose, but Texas will be forced to punt from their own 26-yard line. a &M with a man deep. That will be Frazier back at the 35. McClanahan to punt the ball away, and it's a uh, high sailor. That will be a fair catch by Frazier at the 33. Got the hand up, 33-yard line on the fair catch by Derek Frazier. Actually, they'll give him the 32. Cotton Bowl broadcast. Right here on the AM radio network on January 1 against whoever. Here's a handoff to Thomas. He breaks across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Matthews and uh, Dexter Wesley are the tackles. Elisor and Harrison, the guards, now to the center. And here's a handoff being chased from behind. Rodney Thomas going left on a sweep. Run down by Kevin Wattler. He got through. There's no one to block him. And they will drop Rodney for a loss of about two back near the original line of scrimmage. This was a sweep left to Rodney. Wattler on, lining up on the left side defensively was chasing this play. He came on a blitz. Rodney waiting for the hole to open up. Wattler caught it from behind, dropped it for a loss. It'll be third and ten. Wattler is a young man that was recruited by Texas A&M. 
third down and ten. It's a heavy eye. Here's Pulling on the snap, rolling right, looking, still looking. Now they're trying to get a man away, and it's caught oh. on the sideline by uh, Ryan Matthews at the Texas 45-yard line. He got behind the defender. The defender got turned around. I think it was Van Malone, and then Grady Cavness came over. Also close by would have been Joy Ellis, and somebody got turned around, one of the defenders, and Matthews stepped in behind him and made the reception. Oh, yeah, it was Ellis. A, yes, it was. You know, it's almost as if our receivers need a real difficult catch to hold on to the <laughs> football tonight. 22 yards on that one to Ryan Matthews. Good throw by Pullen. Here's Harrison and Brian Mitchell going wide to the left side. Harrison's the split and Mitchell is the uh, flanker. Split back formation. Tight ends to the right. And timeout here as uh, Pullen was running out of time on the 25 second clock. At the Texas 45 after a Matthews catch. Here is the uh, option being run by Pullick. Smothered at the 43. Tight end is McKeon. The wide out to Harrison and Mitchell. Deep pocket Pullick. Throws over the middle. Has a man there. And he caught it at the 20 yard line at the 19. Reception. Mitchell at the 19. Brian Mitchell. First down, Aggies. Oh, and Corey Pollock stepping up in the pocket once again, locating Mitchell across the middle, and he threw it way out in front of him. He was off balance, but what a nice catch, stretching out, catching it on his fingertips. That's two catches for Mitchell, 72 yards. He's got a 46-yarder and a 26-yarder, and the Aggies have the ball first and 10 just inside the Texas 20-yard line. Okay, we gave him 26 on the catch. Here's first down and 10. Hand off, Greg Hill. Great block, left side, turns the corner. He's at the 10, falls forward about the nine yard line, Greg Hill. There was a block on the corner by Doug Carter Again. that took a, a what looked like uh, the uh, Texas defender who was going to make the stop. And now the officials, there wasn't a flag over there, was there? I guess uh, they're no, just, no, they're just they're measuring to see if it's a first down. Hill checks out after the run and they replaced him with Rodney Thomas. Doug Carter still the fullback. It was a slot. They break the slot with motion to the right, and it's going to go to Doug. Doug will spin down to the five-yard line. And there's a little extracurricular activity over oh, on the Oh, and there's a flag the down. Field. I don't know what's going to happen here. First of all, goal. Personal foul defense. Texas. We have a first From down. The four -yard and they have the distance. First down. And they bring him off the field. Cavness was beaten on the pass earlier, and then he uh, just lost his cool there and ripped the helmet off of Tony Harrison. Uh, now may get a replay uh, here in, uh, in the booth. Uh, they'll just show the play. Doug Carter on Let's the carry. Forget. Good down running the, by Doug Carter. Let's don't forget that. Down Excellent to the run. four. It's first and goal from the two. Bullock handoff goes to Doug. Doug to about the one and then driven back. Carter may be the one yard line. Power formation. Here's Rodney, and he dives in. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Rodney Thomas. That's his third of the night, number 13 for the year. Oh, and a nice cutback by Rodney. This started to the left of center. Good vision. He sees the hole open up back to his right. There's Venatilius to try to tack on the extra points. Into the game tonight, 35 of 39 for the year. He has a couple of field goals. Here's the extra point attempt. It's on its way, and he split the upright. And now let's dial it up to 27 to 13. 27-13, the Aggies. And that's the comeback and to uh, answer a quick start here in the uh, third quarter by Texas when they scored 10 unanswered points. The Aggies come charging right back here to run it up now to 27 to 13. Here it comes. In under end, the classic cruise kick. A little short here at the three. Adams will get a return up the middle of the field. Breaks through. He's off to the races across the 30 to the 34-yard line. Oh, you got to hold your breath. He had a 52-yarder to start the uh, second half. Gardair with a single setback. And they'll keep it on the ground to Phil Brown. Nice hole as he breaks across the 40 to about the 42-yard line. And the third period of play is over with in Austin. Jason Atkinson made that stop as we go to the fourth. A&M by a couple. 
27 to 13. A couple of touchdowns. 15 minutes to go at Memorial Stadium. Second down in the yard. Texas operating. 